subs, it's Sam. So I obviously, prom is coming up. I don't know exactly when prom is. I think it ranges anywhere from April to May. I'm not sure, maybe even June. I think our prom was in June. I think ours was quite late on in the year, but whatever. So I just wanted to do, I thought this would be really fun because I know that a lot of people will be wondering, what should they take in their little purse or clutch? For me, I think I took a clutch. I think my sister took a clutch as well. It's really up to you, but I think a lot of kind of people find it a little bit better for just, just a cute little clutch, like, you know? So mine, this is from Avon. Um, a little makeup set came in it for the holidays. It's actually really snazzy. Ooh, it's all sparkly. Uh, so I just kind of, ha this is like my prom clutch slash purse must-haves. What you should definitely take to your prom so that you'll be ready for the whole evening and you'll be like good to go. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend, and this actually fits everything super duper perfectly so that's cool. Uh, the first thing I'm going to recommend is of course a camera. Uh, this is the Canon PowerShot ELF 100HS. This is what we actually used to do all of our vlogging in. It's full HD, it gives amazing pictures, takes great video, but definitely just any kind of camera. I think these are actually really cheap now. They're like, I think I saw them at Sam's Club for like 109 or something like that. But Canons are really great cameras as far as like I've, you know, all of the ones that we use are can Canon and I love them. But anyway, so obviously you need a camera because you want to take pictures, take as Take as many pictures as you can. You want to capture that day or that evening or whatever, and so that you can look back when you're like 80 and be like, oh, that was my prom, Sonny, you know? So that's like number one. Obviously, if you don't have a camera, I think most, most teenagers now have cell phones, I'm pretty sure, uh, and most of them have a camera on there. So yeah, I'm obviously you're gonna take your cell phone. I didn't, mine's charging right now, so I don't have it right now, but your cell phone because then you could either take pictures, you got a call, you know, like you always need your cell phone if you're like, ah, I'm nervous, I need a ride or something. Uh, next thing is definitely gum. You don't wanna have stinky breath. You're gonna be dancing with people. You're gonna be up close and personal in their business and then you're gonna be like this. And usually, not like, <laughs> that's what you're gonna do. Hard, like Mr. Bean. Uh, usually, I think you go to dinner first and what if you have something garlicky and then you've got garlic stink breath? That's not good. So either gum or mints. Humongous tip here. Oh my gosh, my things are poking me in my eye. I can't see. Don't chew your gum while you're taking your pictures because you're gonna smile big, you know, ding. You might have a piece of gum showing in your pictures and you're gonna forever look at that and be like, oh, I should have taken my gum out. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I like extra because it's extra good. The next thing is obviously a mirror. You've got to check what you're looking like, you know? Obviously, I think most places are going to have a bathroom, but just in case, you might be sitting on the toilet, you know, and you can be like, hold on, it won't open. Boink, you know, put my lip gloss on or whatever. So, uh, mine says Samantha, because that's my name. Uh, so yeah, just a little mini mirror would be good. Uh, of course, you need to have, now this is going to sound weird, and you guys are going to think, God, you're such a freak, but you know what, that's what I am. Uh, mini deodorant. <laughs> And the worst thing that you could possibly do is have stinky breath and stinky, sweaty armpits and be known as the stinky, sweaty Betty for life, you know? And you go back to your reunion and you're like, oh, there's that girl that totally smelled like B.O. at the prom. Sick! You don't want that. So this is just a little, I got this at Target the other day. Um, it was 97 cents. It's the Scent Expressions Cocoa Butter Kiss Scent. Delightful. From Secret. Actually... I've been taking it off. Ooh, it smells really good actually. So yeah, just a little mini deodorant. It's nice and small, it can fit in your clutch. And you know, you do, you're dancing, you're gonna get a little sweaty, it's hot in there. It's always super hot in prom. So you can be like, quickly in the bathroom, you know, and then your armpits don't stink. Because sometimes you can spray perfume, but you might still have some stink going on. So keep that in mind. This, I always recommend taking a mini perfume. You can always take a little tiny like sample one. It was only $2 at Target, I love Target. It's the Bodycology White Gardenia Fragrant Fragrance Mist. Again, it's still small enough to fit in your clutch. Um, it's a body mist. This is an exact dupe from Michael Kors, which I shall show you. So say you're at home the night before you know you're getting ready, spray your Michael Kors on so that you got a strong base perfume. And then take this along with you. So if you feel like you're getting a little bit less scented, spray your spray and it's like exactly dupe 
and this is white gardenia again so total dupe woohoo and then it's not going to break because it's obviously not glass and you can just and you'll be smelling delicious. Okay, next thing is blotting papers. These are just from Mary Kay. They're the beauty blotter oil absorbing tissues. You can get the clean and clear ones at the drugstore for I think like four bucks or something. You can find them anywhere. So yeah, these are just little, you know, they look like this. And then you just go doink doink if you're sweaty and then it gets all the oil off so you don't look super greasy. You know, and your date's looking at you and they're like, I could french fry a tater on you, you know? So yeah, we don't want that. Okay, next thing is hand sanitizer. And you guys are probably thinking, oh my God, you're so weird. But I'm not, because listen, you're gonna be dancing. Now, if you don't have a specific date, then you might be dancing with a few other different people. If you do have a date, well, you might still be touching other people's hands. And you know what? Not, I'm not gonna say this rudely, but some boys are not the best about washing their hands. Let's be honest here, okay? Especially teenage boys, they're not like the most hygienic people in the world. Some are, but some aren't. So hand sanitizer is a must because you're gonna be touching their hands. You don't want to get any germies. So Caribbean Escape Pocket Back Antibacterial. This is from Bath and Body Works. They have a bunch of different smells that are or scents that are really good. But yeah, I definitely recommend that because you are gonna be touching people's hands and ugh, I'm just, ever since I watched that movie, I don't, I can't remember what it was called. It was with Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, I've always had hand sanitizer, but I watched that movie and it was about like this disease that spread super quick. I've been paranoid. Like I always have sanitizer with me everywhere because I'm nervous. Now we're on to the makeup stuff because uh, there's a few things that I think everyone should take with them just to keep them looking luscious for the pictures. You know, you want to look nice all night long. So here's what I recommend. Put yourself a little makeup bag inside of your clutch. This is just a little Hello Kitty one. Inside of it, I recommend taking a bronzer. I don't know what it is about dark places and dances, but whenever I used to go to dances, you'd like halfway through, you go in the mirror and you look like a ghost. You're so washed out. It's like all of your makeup was just gone or something. I don't know. So I definitely recommend bringing a bronzer. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. It's my favorite. It does actually have a little mirror. Oh, there it goes. You don't even need your mirror because you got one. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend just bringing that up. Just touch yourself up. If you do look a little bit washed out and pale, bring a little brush. This is just the Travel Collection Large Powder F30 from Sigma. You can use this for both your blush and your bronzer. So that's cool. And then definitely bring a little blush because sometimes you, you'll you put your bronzer on and then you might need a little bit more like of a pinkish glow, you know, because that might be getting washed out too. So this is the little Rimmel London Lasting Finish and Autumn Catwalk Blush. That's what it looks like. It's just a nice little pink. It's got some little kind of highlighted pinks and then a darker one. So, and again, it's nice and small and compact. You can stick it in your little bag. This um, is good for two things. Now, this is the Maybelline Mineral Power Natural Perfecting Concealer. Um, you can either use this one. I know this is quite uh, easy to get a hold of. This one is actually my favorite. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer. They do have it now in that little long kind of, the one that Tiffany D uses. It's like the sponge applicator. But any kind of concealer, because you might look a little bit tired throughout the night. I don't know what it is with proms. They just make you look like crap throughout the night. Also, if your lipstick or lip gloss gets a bit kind of off throughout the night, you can always just add a little bit of concealer to kind of, if your lips, your lips are literally lead, your lips are really red, put a little bit of concealer, blank it out, and then you can redo your lips. So that's not a must, it's, I think it's a must have. And then of course, your lip gloss and your lip liner, whatever you choose to do. Um, I just put my Sync in there because it's just a good little neutral. And then this is really great because it's just really good applied over a bare, bare lip. If you didn't want to bring concealer, it's the Fashion Fanatic Plush Glass. Plus, oh my God, I can't talk. Plush Glass from MAC. So nice little lip glosses go in there. And then last but not least, eyeliner. If you are going to be wearing eyeliner on the bottom rim, usually that will end up kind of, it kind of goes away throughout the night. So this is my Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner. This is my favorite one for your, your waterline because it's so 
it's so pigmented it's amazing um, but that usually is the first thing that goes on me at least for for like makeup wise so I would just kind of pop that in my purse too and then if you do wear eyeliner you can just touch it up as you're touching up everything else that's really all I can think of the only other thing that I would say is obviously like your ID your money whatever you're wanting to bring as far as that goes as far as like beauty products maybe eye drops I don't actually have any eye drops because I don't particularly care for them but you you tend to get I as you know those places, I just feel like proms, they're always just, they make your eyes bloodshot. It's like when you go watch a movie at the, the, the theater, I always get really bloodshot eyes. I don't know why, but I do. It's just like the darkness, I think. Um, so you might want to bring some little eye drops to like remove the redness. I never use eye drops, so I don't even know if they're good for you or not. I have no idea. Um, so if they're not good for you, then don't. But in, I don't know. I have no idea. But, you know, it might help the redness so that you don't look like you're totally like, Hi! Like, all tired and crazy. So I hope you like my prom prom purse slash clutch must-haves. Obviously, I, I know there's there might be a few things that I missed, but I tried to cover the basics, the things that I would want in my prom clutch. So I hope that helps. I hope you guys all have an amazing prom whenever it is. I'm not really sure. But I will do a couple more little promish videos to help you guys out. Be safe. Please be safe. That's the number one. And then have fun. But you have to be safe first. So I hope you like my video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a, a an amazing week. Bye.